Hello and welcome people, this is Dark Forest Shadows here and today I'm out in the Forest of Dean just on an afternoon stroll, it's far too hot for the dogs to come out so I just escaped to one of my local little areas um, today I'm just going to run through my food ration system um, generally for all the outdoor activities I pursue. I'm not going to bore you. What we're looking at here is some um, mung beans. These are a good source of nutrients in a survival situation. Uh, again, some people may think this is crazy. Uh, they're good eating. And these have been going for four days now. You can make them last for up to seven to eight days. All you need to do to hatch them is soak them overnight in water, keep them in the dark, drain the water, leave them for a day. They will hatch, sprout, and each day, twice a day, just drain them and flush them with fresh water, soak them for about 10 minutes. And then you've got a good source of basic nutrients. Um, now I carry a bag of mung beans when I go caving, just in case, God forbid it, there's a caving. Um, it's not going to please your taste buds, so to speak. And nevertheless, they do the job, and all they need is darkness. And you can tell if they're going over, um, apologise for eating. As they become more of a vinegary taste um, if they're nice and fresh they taste more like um, a fresh sweet pea but yeah it's a, an emergency backup source if need be um, and a longer term situation they will help you out it's where do you draw the line? There's various grains that will do the same thing. Possibly a few extra nutrients here and there. However, for the amount that you hatch, it's crazy. As I'll go into this and I'll show you the bag. You only need, a, I'd say, what, 200, which is nothing. Probably about 25 grams in weight. So you're going to get a lot produced from... Well, I carry 500 gram bags, and that's a good source of food in a disaster situation. Now, what we have here is my ration food sack, depending on what I'm doing. And there's various stuff, it's just personal preference, but I've got some Nutrigrain bars, um, sesame seed snaps, these are very high in calories. Again, it's where do you draw the line? I'm a basic person. Oats, I use the pour and store system because I can use these for cooking. I know that's a good two days worth for a push. Going by the cup system I use with my scouting kit. Main meal, again, these are hydrated. Just a chili and a rice. Yes, these are heavier, but this would be just for a weekend. stuff just to tie me over I got huge powdered milk go with my porridge and again I got sugar and stuff in my cook kit some spicy tomato liquidized processed pasta but that'll generally see me through one to two days if need be some fresh tuna, you can do the sardines, just whatever you fancy taking. This is just generally what I would use on a one to two day. Um, again, I like to eat before I go, and therefore this would stretch into two days. Now it's not bug out, this is general camping, hiking. If I'm with the girlfriend, then we'd have 
steak, whatever you fancy on the fire. Um, and also it depends, this would be more of a hike, um, long hike camp, lightweight as such. I would go into the dehydrated rices and stuff. I don't do that at home, I just purchase them. Um, and then this is what I like to call sort of like a bigger version of what you're seeing there but the contents in here is more longer term I have to think of my girlfriend and two kids if need be again you can't take everything but this is a good little shoot stuff sack whatever that I could just grab Again, some more sesame seeds. It's on a rotational system. Some more neutral grains. Sesame seed snaps. Again, I would take from this to repel replace anything from this ration pouch. Some more rice. Um, these are the, the mung beans. Very, very tiny pick them up they're very tiny and the amount that's 500 grams is nothing to carry I know it's an extra five half a kilo to carry but I mean you're talking probably a month if not longer on extreme starvation um, but yeah these won't swell much more than what they are now so within four days, I mean they're edible straight away, you can even eat the seeds. They're just bloody hard to eat, but you can grind them into a flour um, to go with any game that you're able to acquire. And again it's a reminder to start foraging for the wilder edibles out there. Um, yeah, it's just something that I've looked into over the years, and they're nice, just fresh on salads and stuff. But again, the bug outside, you'd just be talking high calories just to tie you over, but longer term, you'd need something more um, to ease you into it, the trauma of an upheaval of a disaster. I mean, we could be in a, well, varied scenario, apocalyptic, no sky, no sunshine, just contamination and stuff. And basically, I know that I've only got a month with what I have here. And this is just for me, so if it was a family thing, like I've said before, I'm more of a scavenger. I'm going to take minimal and acquire what I'm able to in that situation. This here, this may go on a camp if it's a family. Got some chilli, pepper and salt. Deliberating what to put in this last one. Although in a survival situation, salt, given the area that I'm situated in, would be a priority given the balance of the body. Um, but I was deliberating some Cajun because to be honest is a disaster going to happen best be prepared in here see it's just basic reminders and restocking of coffee these are foil tubs there's a certain way of folding them I don't know if you're seeing this without actually piercing the tub and what you have to do when you get them is fold the inside back out and then push them in very nicely squidging all the edges and then it will not pierce the pot in the past I've actually opened a couple of these and they've been pierced but I've worked out a way to do that Again, chocolate and coffee, like I said, this isn't disaster as such, but it's there as a start. 
just basically what you've seen in the scout kit, salts, bicarb, tea bags, pour and stores. Hence why I use them all the time because I can eat out of the bags and again use them for sprouting. If you look and research into the sprouting you'll find that there's no end of containers and ways to do it but this does the job as long as it's kept in the dark. I know I'm banging on about them but um, yeah just some more favourite snack bars. A bigger lot fresh this is a powder milk as you can see I do the dates this is a new one that's just been pushed in more nut bars hefty lot of sugar sugar I put the date on but again it will continue lasting with the pour and store I don't need to um, vacuum them as such you can just squeeze the air out and then seal them back up lots of stuff here nut bars some tomato puree and again with the scavenging and foraging which I will get into in my later videos um, this will be a nice um, bit of flavoring as such I know that in this country it's going to be harder to grow your own veg I do have seeds in my bug out tin which is to be buried honey you can get drawn into the um, health benefits you've got the manuka and then you've got the various grain this is a mixed you can use it for wounds and stuff but at the minute I'm eating a lot of honey I'm trying to replace from the refined white sugars I love honey um, I'd love to obtain wild honey it's becoming rarer in the UK and it is illegal uh, but however it's abundant in the supermarket so make the most of it and with the manuka the price just rockets the more better quality you get so again I'm talking five pounds for this one but to upgrade talking 15 to 20 pounds but you pay for what you get and this is a good source for energy related stuff there's always going to be people saying well you need this and you need that it's just what I've developed and what I use when I do go out again bovril good for a stock and stuff some nitrile gloves for game yeast valid you can actually make your own yeast it takes a lot of work and again I'm still moving into that side of things um, again the, the salts that's out of that little sack there a couple of little plastic forks I guess ultimately this would be one of the main food sources for a 72 give or take four day five day ration system just this even the two items there just to change the flavors the honey is brilliant like now is elderflower season in the UK and I should probably get round to doing a little video just brewing up a elderflower tea with some honey and it's lovely so you don't need to use everything all at once um, porridge oats again between two to four days so that would be a small portion each if there was four of us it's not going to last forever but it gives you enough time to find a comfortable area to set traps and start foraging some mashed potato uh, this is excellent stuff flax sunflower pumpkin sesame seed go John berries sounds a bit technical but per 100 gram the calories not getting too fanatical is 554 which isn't too far off the peanut butter now I'm sure you, with these two you can make a good varied peanut butter mush um, and again it, this can be used for soups as well as a, a breakfast cereal 
it's just good for bulking out so say you add rabbit soup 100 grams of this in there a bit of tomato puree it's got a nice meal it would go with a mashed potato it would go with the oats um, it's made by Limwoods not sure whether they're UK based or whatever but I get through these they're expensive but for me worth the money so yeah I recommend those running down I've just got some um, homemade UCO candles I will do a video going through how to make those to save some money if anyone's interested I know I'm a bit boring but I keep those in there as a cooking source I haven't got a lighter um, I've always got a lighter on me and people that I'm around would have a lighter if I wasn't around for someone to use this stuff um, just some hexy tabs it's enough to cook a couple of meals again with a candle probably get four meals slicing them to make little tea lights with the mess tin um, there's no trickery I'm not here to be better than no one this is just food storage so to speak but in an emergency a helping hand and the bottom of here I put my food for free which I take everywhere um, which you'll see in another video just in the bag as an example but I'm using this around year round I've taken the cover off I apologize I'm just trying to save weight and stuff also I jot down a few things in the back as and when I can um, my Welsh friend asked me about this book um, what I use when out and about and I think I gave him the wrong name I apologize and yeah these are the colored illustrations good detail um, again it's telling you about preserves and making jellies and jams also goes into the fungi and also a few varied um, sea plants around it's predominantly for Britain the UK um, but yeah it's good if we're out on the beach and stuff again I'm not gonna bore you every time in the future when I'm out on a mission or camping out doing whatever I'm not gonna say this is my equipment and I brought this today to eat I'm not gonna go through that you're seeing this once as a varied selection I'm not going to just keep repeating myself over and over. I do this on this video, fine. Um, but when I'm out, you'll just see the black ration pouch, maybe. Um, but you know what's in there. And again, when I run through the bug out bag to my main winter, summer pack out equipment needs, you'll see just pouches. Um, but yeah, this food for free is excellent and again you can just the variations and techniques um, and you just learn more and more as you go along but it's excellent pocketbook highly recommended so I apologize to my Welsh friend um, again this is just the basic and how lofty wise man survival um, book um, it's very basic and the best way that I find with this is to actually practice some of the skills in here and play around I will do various videos over time like a trapping video but what I shall do instead of because I can't edit I shall just basically say ding there you go there's a load of traps I made but there's no end of people doing stuff on YouTube, so um, I'm not here as Mr. Popular. But yeah, this is my food ration, a food source needs for the outdoor environment. Um, again, it's just making the most of what we've got sharing ideas it's 
a lovely day. It's one of my little favourite spots. It's quiet, peaceful. Um, it's just my conifer area. And what I've done over time, little fire pit over there, I should have covered it up the last time, but it's raining. Is I don't damage trees, don't get me wrong. But I've come here today just to monitor my pine sap pine resin and a good trick for you is these broken branches which die off as the tree grows um, leave like little knots stumps here but if you break these off and cut behind which isn't damaging the tree it will come become a clump see that a clump of resin so instead of making a gash like here and you get minimal weepage if you actually you can see that circle there um, yeah if you put a slip behind that you'll end up with clumps but I found this out myself I don't know if anyone else has uploaded but I've just done a little experiment but I haven't harmed a tree um, so that's another thing I should do is just collect a bit of this pine resin and again over time I shall go into various techniques of more of the olden ways which are on YouTube but again it's what I'm about the proof is in the pudding it's a lovely little section of forest I've got lots of nice little places I go to um, but yeah, this is where I lost my multi-tool somewhere. I need a metal detector, because it's a jungle. Anyway, sorry for boring you. I know I've gone on far too long. Thanks for your time, and I'll catch you later.